With Nernst equation, we can also calculate the so-called reaction equilibrium constant. Reaction equilibrium constant, and this is an example. Uh, we want you to use standard electrode potential theories, that table that contains the standard electrode potential versus SHE, or standard hydrogen electrode for different electrode, different half cell reaction, to calculate equilibrium constant for the reaction between metallic lead or PB with lead oxide in the presence of sulfuric acid H2SO4 to form lead sulfate under standard condition. Standard temperature 25 degrees C, standard uh, pressure 1 atmosphere, standard uh, concentration such as uh, for sulfuric acid 1 mole per um, kilogram of solvent. So with this, let's first look at uh, the half cell reaction. The anodic half cell reaction, anodic half cell or oxidation half cell reaction, give out electron would be for lead. Lead metal combined with SO4 2 minus group to form light sulfate and release two electron. Remember, anodic is oxidation half cell reaction. It gives out electron. Okay, and let's check the mass balance. One lead on the left, one lead on the right. One sulfuric group on the left, one sulfuric group on the right. Charge two minus on the left, two minus on the right. So the mass and charge are both balanced. For this half cell reaction, the standard electrode potential would be, if you look at the table, it will give you minus 0.36 volt. On the other hand, for the cathodic or reduction half cell reaction, reduction half cell reaction, for lead oxide, lead PbO2, okay, the lead oxide combined with electron in the presence of sulfuric acid group and the proton, it will form lead sulfate and the two water molecule. Okay, let's check the mass balance. One lead on the left, one lead on the right. One sulfuric group, one sulfuric group. SO4 group and four hydrogen, two oxygen, four hydrogen and two extra oxygen. So the mass is balanced. While charge two minus four plus another two minus. So zero net charge on the left, zero net charge on the right. So its mass and the charge are both balanced. For this so-called cathodic or reduction half cell reaction, if you look at the table, the standard electrode potential would be positive 1.69 volt. Positive 1.69 volt. So the overall of full cell reaction would be anodic plus cathodic, left plus left, right plus right, with the goal to eliminate electrons. Okay, if you do that, left plus left, we have lead comes here, lead oxide comes here, sulfuric group, SO4 group, that will be two of it, proton, we have four proton, four proton, and then the electron on the left and the electron on the right are cancelled. Lead sulfate plus lead sulfate, we have two lead sulfate and the two water, okay? That's the so-called overall of full cell reaction. And for this full cell reaction, from what we learned before, the equilibrium cell potential, equilibrium cell potential would be the standard electrode potential for the cathodic or reduction minus 
the standard electrode potential for the anodic or oxidation half cell reaction. Cathodic, okay, would be 0.169 volt minus anodic would be minus 0.36. So minus minus we get positive, and then the end result would be for the cell equilibrium potential to be 2.05 volt. 2.05 volt. Okay, this is our result. We calculate the standard cell potential. Then, under equilibrium condition, the cell potential is cell potential would be E equals standard cell potential minus RT over NF long Q, that is our non potential. When say under equilibrium condition, when this one reaches equilibrium, E0 would be minus RTNF long. Instead of quotient, we give it uh, equilibrium constant. This is what we got for equilibrium condition. Under equilibrium, the cell potential equals to this one and it be equal to zero. Okay. Based on this, the equilibrium constant, which is the KEQ, would satisfy the natural log of equilibrium constant would be you put uh, this term to the right and rearrange NF over RT times um, standard cell potential. Standard cell potential. Okay. Standard cell potential. And from here, we would get equilibrium constant would be exponent of this whole thing. N would be 2, F would be Faraday constant 96,485 column per mole divided by RT 8.312 joule per mole per Kelvin times room temperature 298.15 Kelvin. This whole thing times 2.05, that's the standard cell potential. After calculation, you get the equilibrium constant is 2.03 times 10 to the power of 69, which is a very, very large number. The equilibrium means equilibrium lie far to the right for this overall a full cell reaction. Meaning what? Meaning when you put lead and the lead oxide and sulfuric acid together, it favors greatly the formation of lead sulfate. Okay, it greatly favors the formation of lead sulfate. That is the meaning for this calculation. Okay, we get a positive standard electrode potential, which means under equal under standard condition. We have a positive uh, cell potential. The reaction proceeds greatly towards the right along the original di direction. And when it reaches, everything reaches equilibrium. When you connect and the cell potential reaches zero, then the equilibrium constant can be calculated. And this is what we got. Okay, and it's a very, very large number.